Cameron Martinez signed today. Very excited to have Cam. I uh, thought uh, he and his family handled things really well with, with Jeff leaving uh, and then Kerry jumping in. He, um, you know, really handled it like a pro. The, 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 fa the family was unbelievable. And, um, you know, we're really excited to have him. We're going to give him an opportunity to play on either side of the ball when he first gets in, which is unique. But this is somebody who played uh, quarterback in high school, very, very productive, and doesn't have a lot of, um, you know, experience playing, you know, any other position. So you know, we're going to allow him to do both when he gets here, do some returning and kind of figure out where that goes. And we're excited about that because we think he's really competitive. Um, I think he's one of the most under-recruited under kids in the entire country. So, um, you know, really excited for he and his family to be joining us. Um, that being said, you know, again, I really excited about this class because you know we're we're here in signing day and we were already you know had our second match drill and almost four weeks under our belt with our guys and uh, couldn't be more impressed with these with the way they've worked. They're very serious. They're a great fit. They're great kids, and um, the future's bright. So with that, opening up front row middle, Dave. had a playbook this big coming from the NFL too, but. Uh, but that wasn't right. What one of the things that we added was was the the, the cross the crossing package, and that was the right fit at the right time. And I I, I said that to Kerry, whatever those things are, or whatever in Greg's past, or whatever in Larry's past, or with Al, or with Matt Barnes, whatever those right things are for who we have, that's the key to coaching. It's not coming in and just running blitzes because or running coverages because you think that that's a great coverage or great blitz. It's what fits our personnel and what puts our guys in best position to be successful. I also want to ask you about CJ. Is he a running back in college maybe? He could be, yeah. Yeah, he could be. I mean, you saw what he did in his highlight film when he was a running back. Uh, he has the ability to do that. Um, we're going to start him at that H who can kind of come in the backfield, like you said, and, and take some handoffs. And who knows? We, we don't know. That's, that's what's exciting about him. And I think he does have the ability, or he could go play nickel or go play corner. Um, and, and I think that's what's exciting about Cam. But we're going to allow him to have a lot of feedback in this. You know, we want him to be, um, you know, have a bunch of say in what he likes and feels most comfortable with. But, yeah, I, he's definitely an option. As a coach, I know that you have a strong bond with a guy. Yeah, I do. I do. And I think that the way that we're recruiting right now, and, and like you said, there's a family atmosphere here right now. And I think, um, you know, these – these recruits and their families will, will see as time goes on, just like we talked about, they're going to be treated the same way they're recruited and that we are recruiting this thing tight and that you are a family. This, this is not, um, certainly is a business side to it, but it's not a business, it's a family. And, and we've been talking about that all along. And so even through the recruiting process, we start to recruit at such a young age that that relationships really builds over time. And it's, you know, you're talking about years. You know, Paris Johnson, you know, we, 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 shoot, I mean, we were recruiting him, Jackson Smith. We, these guys have been two years in, so certainly the relationship's gotten stronger as we've gotten into it. And so even when they come in here for their first day, the relationship's been building here for multiple years before they get here. Uh, right next door, Bill. Ryan. Uh, I think they both started off really well. You know, they really haven't been in the classroom all, you know, all that much. It's really been mostly just on the field and competing, and they're both off to a good start. Um, but it's not going to be any different than if those guys were in different years. They're still going to have the same reps. They're still going to compete the same way. And uh, it's okay to have really good quarterbacks in a room together, you know, in an offense that's exciting. And we're going to keep developing quarterbacks the way that we have. And I know that that's a huge part of why they're here. And regardless of how it all plays out for either of them, they're going to get developed at a high level. They're going to be exposed to a high level of offense. And they're going to be coached, you know, the way that they want. They get a chance to compete against really good players. And they get a chance to sit in there with Justin and see what it's like to be around a Heisman Trophy finalist and, and be in an offense that's had two Heisman Trophy finalists in the last two years. And, you know, I guess that's part of it. So regardless of how it all plays out for them, they're, they're going to keep growing year after year.